art now. You see a piece of art and you love it, um, and then you think to yourself, how am I going to frame this? How am I going to mat this? Well, there's certain things you're going to want to take into consideration, and that's what we're going to talk about right now, because yeah. the way you mat and frame it will make all the difference in the world. It can make the piece that much more beautiful, or it can sometimes wreck it. Yes. <laughs> so you want to make careful. sure you go in the favor of beauty, right? Right. Um, so we have a bunch of examples that we can talk through. These two examples here are an example of having a mat, because you don't always have to have a mat. Right. Um, and this one here, I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but it's quite thin. This is called a four ply. Mm -hmm. So you do a beveled edge around this piece, and that just gives it sort of, I think it just, because it's a more traditional approach, it gives a piece more sub substance. Right. Um, down here, if you take a look closely here, this beveled edge is really thick. It's called an eight ply, and that's even more substance. So it gives a significant piece sort of emphasis. Mm -hmm. I wanted to point out these two pieces because you can see there's tons of white space yes. around. We did a huge mat. I think a lot of people take the mat really close to the pick, like make it really small. But if you leave a big mat, it can. There's a beauty in the negative space. It can sort of draw your eye into that special thing. It feels like a little treasure in that way. Yeah, it does. And white frames right now are hot. I'm seeing them everywhere. It used to be all about black frames, but now yeah. these sort of very white, clean, more modern approaches, they're sort of dominating things these days. I happen to be a fan of these sort of raw wood frames. They feel yeah. really rustic and organic, and how they pull a little bit from the artwork, just in the tonality of that color. Nice. This is another thing that's happening. If This is a pretty good print, where the artist has actually intentionally created that border on the paper. It's a good quality photographic paper. So rather than taking the frame right to the edge of the piece, it's okay to leave it, have that little border that was intentionally done by the artist mm -hmm. but in this case this is another big trend that we're seeing where the frame is directly up to the edge of that picture right very contemporary I love how when you look at this with the black frame it makes the blacks in the photograph really really rich and saturated yeah. and this is a more contemporary approach I think to a black frame as well so moving over this way, you yeah. see there is also a lot of, uh, there's a lot of white space, a lot of neg negative space, but yeah. there's something gorgeous here about the edge of the art, and you want yeah. to show that off. Yeah, well this is a tipped on, so that's where there's a little bit of um, adhesive put underneath each of the corners on okay. the piece, and then it's just tipped on, so it kind of floats on top of that backing. You do nice. that when you have a really beautiful edge like that, kind of like a watercolor paper, Okay. and then you, you kind of throw out the rule, there is this rule, which I forgot to mention, of of the proportions of the frame on each side of the piece. Normally, you want to keep these sides equal and then the bottom a little bit bigger. Because ah. it just fools the eye to make it look like it's floating, because otherwise it might look um, like it's sinking a little bit. Uh -huh. It's just an optical illusion. But when you do this kind of frame, you don't worry about that. The artist has already done that intentionally in how they did the print. So you just kind of bring the frame really close to that beautiful edge. That's really nice. And this is more of a, of a shadow box, this right? This is a shadow box. This is just something I'm, I love right now, or the plexi box. Yeah. Um, and it, look how thick it is. So it feels really substantial. And that's one thing to think about is the dimension of the frame when you look at it from the side not just from the front right if you've got a thicker dimension like this box or say this piece up here it just gives it a bigger weight absolutely um, and this is tipped on as well this piece here that's beautiful so let's move a little bit over sure. here to uh, talk about what we need to think about when it comes to yeah. matting so with matting I mean I'll be honest I think the white mats are kind of the, the most classic me too you have to think about the art not the wall so don't okay. pick your mats to match the color of your wall I've seen people do that I it does not seen work. That. It does not work. Um, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, and be aware of antique whites. Like for instance, this is a, a an antique white one that I think is a little bit off. It's very yellow. It makes the print feel yellow. Yeah. Which I don't love. Um, this was a big trend that people did back in the 80s, right? They would pick a color in the piece and, and match and it. match it. What was wrong with us? <laughs> well, you just, you just, everything had to everything. match. I know. It's that whole 101 decorating 101 thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't mind it if you do something like this, like a little bit of an edge here like that. Mm -hmm. That's something that's coming back a bit. I'm seeing that happening now. but. Again, I think that right. this is this is the simplest, is just to do white. When you do your framing, by the way, you also have to think about your signature, right? Like if the signature of the artist, make sure that you don't cover it. Oh, that's, yeah, that is a very good point, <laughs> yeah, and it yeah. is worth saying. Okay, there is so much we can actually know, say about matting and, yeah. and framing, so we're gonna have to do another segment in okay. the near future, but do you wanna say one thing about I'll the frames? These are the floaters. We didn't get to them, they're on the wall. Yes. Um, so you use this kind of frame, which has this sort of ledge on it, 
it for canvases. Okay. Um, and it just creates this beautiful reveal oh, on the bottom. Oh, that's nice. And look how different a black one looks then um, the white on the piece, it just changes it Major so difference. much, right? So it's about your taste and what works with your decor. A lot of people think canvas, you wouldn't do anything to it, but what a nice way I to profile it, right? It yeah. It's very yeah. nice.